In this video, we're going to look at the dashboard for students. So this is where you will go to really kind of dig a little bit deeper and compare yourself to everybody else in the nation who's using Prodigy Connect to see how you're doing. Now, if you just want exam scores, then you'd want to go to exam results, and that's covered in another video. But if you want to go way more into detail, then let's go to the dashboard, which we can get to by clicking the My Dashboard button here. Now, it'll say it requires cal calculations that may take a few seconds. Would you like to continue? The reason it takes a moment is because it's comparing your results to literally millions of other item responses by thousands of other students. So when it says that you're in such and such percentile on this exam, well, it's, it's getting a lot of data to calculate that. All right, so you'll see that we start off with a couple of charts here. This first one in the top left shows your scores in yellow and the rest of the nation in purple. So this is overall scores by NBCRNA heading. So you know that's basic sciences, general principles, surgical procedures, and equipment. And also we have total, which is the overall score. So this student is doing quite well compared to the rest of the nation in all categories. Now this next one to the right is the percent of questions missed by question type. So you know the NBCRNA board exam has several different types of questions from multiple choice, multiple correct response where you have to select all the correct answers that are possible, calculation questions, and if you look you can see those abbreviations here. Multiple choice, MCR is multiple correct response, IMG are image-based questions where you'll have a diagram or a picture to go by, calculation questions, hotspot questions, those are the ones where you click on a part of the image, and drag and drop questions. So this particular student is doing extremely well in all of the categories except for calculation questions. So this student would need to work on those types of questions in particular. If we scroll down a little bit more, we'll see the average time in seconds by question type. So this student is taking a lot longer to answer questions than the rest of the nation, and it seems to be doing well. So as we said, looking at the chart above, this student does much better than the rest of the country in all of the categories and is spending more time on all of the question types except for calculation questions. And if we look at this chart, that's where that student is doing worse. So perhaps this student should slow down a little bit, double check their calculations when they have an opportunity. Um, so it just shows an opportunity for improvement. Now here you can see topics by percentage correct. So here this student has not answered any questions on brachial plexus block correctly at all. So it'll go down through the list of all the question categories that the student has answered all the way to the ones that they perform the best in. If we scroll down a little bit further, we will see comparison among simulation exams. So the actual simulation exams are the pre-built 100 question exams designed to simulate boards. And that means the percentage of question types, the question categories, all simulate what the NBCRNA has outlined in their handbook. And it will compare you to the rest of the country who has taken the exact same exam. So here this student took simulation exam four. Their raw score was 81, meaning they got 81 out of 100 questions correct. And if you look, their overall rank was 77, and that's their percentile rank. So that means this student scored better than 77% of the students who took this exact same exam. If we look to the columns to the right, we can see how this student did in each of the NBCRNA categories compared to the rest of the country. So they did extremely well in general principles at an 86 percentile, but in basic sciences, their percentile rank was only 48. And in surgical procedures, it was only 46. So really, general principles is what bolstered the score and the percentile rank for this exam. This student probably needs to work on basic sciences and surgical procedures. Ordinarily, you would think that you would want to get a percentile rank of about 50, which would mean that you're scoring average among everybody else. But if you're preparing for boards, my recommendation is that you get a percentile rank, this overall rank right here, a percentile rank of at least 70 on your first attempt at one of the simulation exams, 
to feel like you're ready for boards. Now, the reason that score is high is because there are also junior students who are taking these exams, and so they aren't ready for boards or preparing for boards yet, so that skews the score that you need up a little bit higher. So again, your first attempt at a simulation exam, if you're preparing for boards, you should shoot for an overall rank of at least 70. Now, some students think, well, I'll just keep taking that same exam until my percentile rank is at least 70, and that's not really good either. It's okay to repeat an exam as many times as you want, but familiarity with the specific question may skew your exam simply because you've taken that particular exam multiple times. All right, if we scroll down further, you'll see miscellaneous simulations, and these are all of the ones that you've taken by yourself that are custom exams. So if it's by specific topic, or you created an exam by textbook and chapter, well, obviously, you may have created a unique exam that nobody else has taken, so you're not going to be compared to the rest of the country for these, but you will have your total score. So this one is 52% correct. If we go down a little bit further, you'll see all of your study plan quizzes here, and if you complete faculty assigned exams, you'll see all of those scores right here. So again, the dashboard is a good place to go to try to find out how are you doing compared to everyone else and what overall areas do you need to really focus on. Now, if you want to get really detailed on what to focus on, then the area you want to go to is my review, and we cover my review in another video as well.